is life taking you by surprise? Does it seem as though you are always going in circles, never getting anywhere? Are you a nervous wreck? Are you stuck in a traffic jam that will never end? God's book, the Holy Bible, has the answers you need. For surprise, as God says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5-6 through 6. When you are racing and never getting anywhere, Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give peace to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. The Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 27. And when your nerves are in control instead of you, God makes this promise. Give your burdens to the Lord, and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Psalm 55, verse 22. Now, what about anger? Do you get up on the wrong side of the bed? Instead of getting glad, do you get mad? Do you have a pet peeve that follows you around? Is it nipping at your heels and barking all the time when you ignore it? Do you use the excuse, I have always had a bad temper, and then bite when no one is looking? God has the answer. God can split the sea so that there is a pathway of dry land. Jesus calmed storms with his presence. God can do that for you. Here is what the book of Proverbs has to say. Patience is better than strength. Controlling your temper is better than a capturing a city. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 32. Last but not least is the wart problem. One wart may not be so terrible, or maybe two. But some people fret and worry so much that they are covered with worry warts from head to toe. You know who they are, and you know who you are. People who worry all the time might as well use the old expression, Whoa, whoa, oh, woe is me. Their days are always cloudy. What do you do then if you are filled with constant worry? Where do you turn? This is not a trick question, because the answer is the same as before. Open your Bible. If you don't have a Bible, nowadays they come in all shapes and sizes and are written with easy-to-understand English. And if you prefer the traditional, the King James Version is readily available. Here is one of the answers that the Bible has about worrying. It's found in the New Testament book of Philippians. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. This is true. You don't have to live your life feeling off balance like Teetle deedle dumpling my son John, who has one shoe off and one shoe on. If you read the Bible with a quiet spirit and listening mind, God will give you the answers you seek. If you don't read the Bible, then it may be likely that you will go on looking for answers in the air. We cannot see the air. The answers in the air, well, we cannot see them either. No one is ever too old to open the Bible for the first time. No one is ever too old to pray the prayer asking Jesus to take charge of their life. No one is ever too old to declare, Jesus, you are the Lord of my life and the Lord of the world. No one is ever too old to join the family of God, one family that spans the whole globe. And... No one is ever too old to become energetically healthy again in heaven and live in joy, peace, and harmony throughout eternity.